Hi, this is Cindy, and this is a Revit tutorial on how to create a wall sweep in order to do crown molding or base. And so the first thing that you need to do in order to create a wall sweep is you need to look at the wall in elevation or section. Um, and after you've created a couple of them, then you can add more sweeps looking at the plan view or the ceiling plan view, depending on if it's base or crown molding. Um, but in order to get it started, you need to be able to look at the elevation. And so I'm just going to look at an elevation of this interior um, little bedroom here. And so I'm just going to put an elevation marker in the room, point it at the wall, and double click that to open the view. And so here's my view and it looks like I have a, my chair in my elevation view here. And so what I'm going to do first um, under architecture, um, I, I currently don't have, I have, have any wall sweep types loaded and so I need to be able to load a wall sweep type. So I'm going to go under manage, or excuse me, insert and load family and I'm going to go down to profiles and then finish carpentry and then you can see there's a bunch of different kinds in here um, that are already set up there's some crown molding and cove molding as well as base and you can use any of these that are in here you can also then uh, just create your own profile and load it into the project and you can use that as um, as a wall sweep as well <clears throat> I'm just gonna select base one and I'm just gonna say open so then under architecture I'm gonna go down to wall and wall sweep and um, I have some different ones that are already loaded in here. Um, but what you will see when you open this is probably cornice, which is not what you want to use. So in order to create a new one, I'm going to say edit type and I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to give it a name. And then under the profile, I'm then going to select that profile that I have loaded. So you can see that the base that I loaded has um, a few different sizes to it, four and a half, five and a half, seven, seven and a quarter. Um, and I can select any of those or I could select one of the ones that I've loaded myself. And I'm, I can assign a material to that under material for the finish and I'm going to say okay. Now you notice that I can only place it on a wall. So when I come over here to the wall, you can see that it's able to be placed and I can put it anywhere on the wall on the top if it was crown molding or on the bottom if it was base. And so as soon as I place that, you can see that it goes in um, on my floor plan. And if I look at my floor plan view and I switch this to thin line so you can see this a little better. So as I look at my floor plan, you can see that I'm able to hover. Um, I changed it to thin line so I can see what I'm looking at. I'm able to hover over that and select my wall sweep. And then over on the right, I get add remove walls. So then I could go around my room and I could just select um, these other walls and it's giving me a error message here because I have a wall sweep on this other wall. So it's saying my two wall sweeps are overlapping. Um, so I'm just gonna say cancel. Um, but if I select, so if I select my wall sweep and select a wall that doesn't have a sweep, like this other wall over here, and say add remove walls, and then select my wall, you can see that it adds that sweep over there as well. 